This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Dirty Boy here and welcome to Dirt Rally 2.0. Yes, I've been lucky enough to get my key early for Dirt Rally 2.0, perks of being a YouTube poor, I guess. And given that I was such a big fan of the first Dirt Rally game, I'm really eager to try out this new 2.0 title on my equipment here at home. Now I have already done a first impressions video but that was based on my experiences on the ps4 version with a t300 wheel this is the pc version and i'm going to be using of course my own direct drive wheel today but anyway in today's video i'm going to be opening up a discussion and that is whether this game dirt rally 2.0 can finally dethrone richard burns rally as the king of rally sims now given that this is my first proper video in dirt rally 2.0 i want to really challenge myself and push what the physics engine is capable of so i'm going to be choosing australia for our first rally and we're going to be running the longest stage i can find in wet conditions the car that i'm going to be using for this stage is actually new to dirt rally 2.0 and of course as you all know i am a bit of a nissan fanboy so i jumped at the opportunity we're going to be driving the datsun on nissan 240z or z depending where you're from here we are in the service area and here is our glorious Datsun 240Z. God, I love the look of this car. The stage is just over eight miles long. So getting through this in one piece is going to be a challenge in itself. I guess speed will have to come a bit later on. The surface degradation on the stage is actually starting to get a bit worse. So it's not quite as smooth. You can see his little diagram here, which means there'll be some ruts in the road as I'm going through, which I have to try and avoid when going through the stage. You'll see how that comes into play when I actually start driving. As I mentioned in my first impressions video, we do actually have the choice of tyre compound here. Now I'm going for medium tyre just because I want to get through the stage in one piece. I'm not too bothered about out and out speed and I really don't want those tyres to start falling away from me as we get to the end of the stage. I'm just happy this stuff's in the game because we haven't had proper tyre compounds like this, I think, since RBR. I really hope they work as intended. Right, here we are then for our first stage on camera in Dirt Rally 2.0. As I mentioned before, the road is wet, so it's gonna be slippy, and we are running kind of midway down the order, so there is gonna be some stage degradation, but hopefully not too much. I've talked enough over, let's see how our glorious Datsun will handle this. Eight minutes, 20 to beat, bit on the revs, and go, handbrake off. And away we go as our poor little Datsun scrambles to grip off the line, and already, have to be very, very slow right, through that right, first section four left long, onto some tarmac bridge. now, which is not really great for us given that we're on gravel tyre, but it seems to be handling okay. Left, Whoa, that's a bridge, I didn't even notice that. Now, as you can six probably long, tell, I am talking over baby. my co-driver, which means 30, that I can only really right hear some right calls, four. so I'm hoping that my brain will Give sort the, the really scary rest. ones out and I'll be able 30. to do something with it so when he says two left my brain's gonna go oh now hopefully that'll <laughs> that'll save me if i uh if i can't hear him too well anyway onto the stage already you can see just how much i'm having to wrestle this thing now i've done a couple of stages off camera just to get used to how this thing drives of course but my word this is an improvement over the first dirt rally i can tell you that already just from this one car well, that's how it feels anyway. You're having to balance the front. You can't just mash it at every corner. Oh, the car will loop. It will go round. And I can say for the first time, while actually being truthful, that is just how it was when I drove that Impreza. You could not mash the throttle. You had to balance it. You had to go all the way. That's my, uh, that's my instructor said, of course. But you have to be very smooth with it. You can't just whack it. So get on it progressive, progressive, and then when you find you're in a straight line, that's, that's when you can open it up, that's when you can go. You see these little black patches, these darker patches on the uh, on the trail here. Those will grab the wheels, that is where other, com other competitors have been through the stage. And if they get deep enough, they can start putting your car around and pushing it to each side. I'm not sure if you can really see it too well, but I'm constantly fighting with the surface here. I'll try my best to run over it and not through it, because it just grabs the car and puts it in the direction, just like that, there. Miss for gear, down we go, already down four seconds. And I'm very unlikely to be anywhere near the top of the times on this stage, because the AI, the AI are really damn quick in this game. I'm on 88 out of 100% difficulty, and they wreck me pretty much, especially in this kind of car where I'm too busy sliding to, to practice going quick. 
And I've got to say, so Best. far, it it's a very strong case against dirt, uh, for Dirt Rally 2.0 against RBR. Game looks nice, game sounds nice. And my word is it a challenge. And that's what I want to get to because rallying in real life is about, well it used to be anyway, now it's more about being maximum attack given the cars. But it used to be about caution versus speed. You could always send the car through the stage at a million bajillion miles per hour as I nearly go around, just about caught it. But there's always running the risk that you're going to make a mistake somewhere and one small mistake in rallying puts you into a tree. Takes you out of the rally and that's it, you're done. It's the same in this, you feel that. Richard Burns kind of gave you this, uh, the game of course, not the man, gave you this sense of dread when you played it because you think, right, if I make one mistake here, I'm doing, you know, 160 Ks. If I make a mistake, I'm, that's it, I'm out of the rally. This kind of gives you the same feeling once you, once you get up to speed. You know that one small mistake and that's, that's your day done, really. Which is, uh, which is fantastic, that's how it should be. You should be always conscious of, of the risk going around. I also very much like that I can hear the wheels scrambling for grip. As I'm uh, trying to get on the front one, this Datsun. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I've had this game for a couple of days, of course. Uh, today is the day you're viewing this video anyway, is the day of the embargo lifts. And I've been just wanting to tell everyone how much I've been enjoying driving this. There's not really been a car that I've not enjoyed driving yet, and I'm going to try and bring as many of them to you as possible over the next couple of days, and hopefully you'll uh, hopefully you'll see what I mean. Um, of course, please bear in mind, I am a massive fan of the Dirt Series, Dirt Rally, of course, so I might be a bit biased in that, but you know, I'm trying to put that aside and just say that I am really very much enjoying this title into first gear through there. It just wallowed through there. You can't... It's a rear-wheel drive car, you know, when you're a two-wheel drive and you're trying to get through Trying to Open pull away from a low speed, the car does do that. Oh wow, just about, I got into a rut there, that kind of saved me actually, I thought I was going to go wide. You know, it's the balance between getting on the power and trying to get the, stop the wheels from spinning too much. And in these wet conditions as well, it really is a challenge. That's why I picked it, I wanted to really highlight how the game was in that aspect. Easy. In terms of force feedback, I don't really feel too much on the force feedback, it's more weight than anything else. Um, you do get the old bump every now and then, but in the defence of the game, I'm running the force feedback very low because it's rallying, and I don't think you should have much force feedback in rallying. Not doing too well. Also, my fictional character, Bon Barmstrong, there in the top right, doing us proud. Where are we right now? I can see on the left there, the class leader's quite a way ahead of me, which is fine, I'm not really bothered about that. Let's try and get through the stage this time. Where are we? Oh, gear there somewhere. Again, one of the challenges of driving H pattern. We're down in fifth right now. Just not actually too bad. But 25 seconds off after 5:25 is not the best. I'm going, Phil. I'm going. What's this free right downhill now? So you've got to break a bit earlier in the downhill, of course, because you've got gravity working against you. Uh, in terms of things that I've changed straight away, I've turned off motion blur because I don't like motion blur. And I've also um, made the co-driver calls as early as possible, um, just so I can know what's coming and prepare for it properly. Because I think the, the, the stock, stock uh, placement of the, of the, uh, the calls are a bit too, uh, bit too late for my liking. You kind of go through the corner as they call it, which is not good. That there, that there, that little sequence I think completely shows you how this game handles. You are balancing the car on the throttle a lot of the time through some of this muddy stuff. And I know I've said it already, but it feels just like that in Pretzel in that regard. It's very much a limit. You can rotate hard if you hit the throttle hard, but then stopping it from going round is not only impossible. There has to be a limit there. Easy 30 seconds down now. Poor Bond Barmstrong, he ain't doing too well. One right tightens. But this is definitely a workout, and I'm so glad it's like this. After Dirt, uh, Dirt 4, which I think a lot of us thought might be a Dirt Rally 2, uh, I was a little bit just disappointed with the Dirt franchise. I know Dirt, Dirt 4 wasn't really aimed at people like me with a pretend steering wheel in their room and pretend race car in their room. You know, it's aimed more at people playing casually on the console, but I'm so glad that this has turned out better. I nearly died there, as you probably told by my uh, panic. Go on, little Datsun. 
And uh, there are a lot more cars that I want to show you because I've driven quite a lot of the cars in the game already. Uh, there have been some great improvements across the board, especially in the Group B cars. They feel they feel dangerous now, which is how they should feel. Um, but that's all, all yet to come, I think. And again, let me know in the comments what you want to see, what you want to know about the game. I'll try and answer it the best I can. I've been very fortunate to get my hands in this game early because of my YouTube channel, I suppose. Um, so. Of course, I know a lot of you don't get that privilege, and I'm very thankful for it. So if you want to know something about the game which might influence your purchase, then let me know, and I'll try and give you the best info possible so you can then make that choice yourself. I'm almost a sector behind the uh, the leader now. I think yapping away isn't, isn't good for my time, really. Oh, my word. Right, let's try and get this last bit through here. Turn it in nice and early. Ooh, it still tries and slides, tries to slide into the bank. Easy now, easy. There you go. Middle of a big jump. Feeling all right. Feeling all right. Big jump, you say? The sheet over it. Oh yes. <laughs> that was terrifying. I couldn't see where I was landing. Right to Trying to listen to old Phil coming to me. Don't go off now. You're so 15. close to the end. Six left over crest, one twenty. No. Get it in gear. Six left. One hundred. There you go. Big crest and jump. Fifty. Come to the end. Eighty. Six right of a finish. That's the finish. Well oh there it is. Oh wow, I should have break later than that. The, the finishing line was there. Wow. But guys, that was our first stage in Dirt Rally 2.0 on camera. My word, that was fun. I really enjoyed that, and I'm I'm feeling very positive how about feel how this stage? game feels. It felt all right, you thank you, Phil. No, I'm good. Service. No, I'm good. So our boy Bon Barmstrong ends up finishing 16th out of 20, which isn't really the best uh, the best result in the world. But that was a hell of a lot of fun. The car just felt, for lack of a better term fairly natural to drive. Some of the stuff that I was doing in real life when I got to drive the Impreza rally car, I was applying to this and it was working, which I think is probably the best praise I can give this. To say that I'm excited to explore this game and all the cars and stage combinations is a bit of an understatement. Of course, bear in mind, massive rally and dirt rally fanboy, so might be a little bit of bias there. But I really enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure, of course, to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon to be made notified of future streams and future videos. We've got a couple more Dirt Rally 2.0 videos lined up for this week, so st stick around if you want to see more of that. Take care, have an awesome day, see you all next time.